What's up, world? How you doing? Uh, today we're gonna be talking about Fast Nine. Dude, I don't even wanna. Please don't make me do this. Oh, I don't want to. Fuck this movie. Okay, we're gonna be doing Fast Nine, I guess. So here we go. Uh, this movie was a shit show, uh, an entire shit show. I don't understand how any of this was approved by anyone because I guess it worked though because so far it's made over 400 million dollars so yay for them so um, I wish to God I had spent more I had spent my money on something else rather than spend my twenty dollars to rent this because this was utter ass this was so ass people you don't understand this was bad, like next level bad. So let's dive into it. All right. So, basically give you the rundown. Uh, uh, Vin Diesel's team, or Dominic, needed a MacGuffin, where they had to stop the bad guys from using a MacGuffin. And that's basically it. Like, that's pretty much it. Dom, Dom assembles his team to fight his brother and the bad guys because Dom's brother is trying to acquire this piece of technology that will allow him basically or whoever controls this item to basically do whatever they want they would they were talking about resetting the world order and how you know he would be in control because he would have control of everything that they have i'm i'm pretty sure they would still be able to stop him somehow, but for the purposes of this story, he would be in control of the world, in essence. You know, Dominic Toretto is played by Vin Diesel. Uh, his brother is played by John Cena, whose acting is not quite as bad as this movie, but it's very close. Very close. Close second. All right. Um, who else is in this? Charlize Theron, I believe her name is. I know she's Cypher. I'm, I could have messed that name up, but she's in it. She's she's not bad. She's not bad. Uh, you have the old characters from the, the Tokyo Drift. So, they're in this. Yep. They are a thing. They are in this movie. So, <clears throat> who else? Anyone else? It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll go through it as we get there. So, the first problem I have with this movie, one of many, is it first starts off, Tyrese is running from, well, it, we get to a portion of the, of the movie where Tyrese is running from the bad guys. There are multiple bad guys running in. He falls into a hole because he hit someone and he and he took him out, killed him, basically. And now there are a bunch of bad guys running in. They're above him. He's down in the hole. Tyrese is pretty much done. There's nowhere he can go. Then he picks up an AK and just starts shooting everybody. Everybody. And everybody dies. Not Tyrese. Everyone else. So... Yep. So he survives. And then poses a question once they get back to uh, wherever their base is. Um, do, you, do you wonder how it is we keep surviving these messes? And there's no real answer for that. It's a question I'm wondering. Because we have gone off the deep end as far as this movie is concerned. And we're only, I don't know, maybe, maybe 20 minutes in. 20, 25 minutes into this movie. Um, I don't think anyone can die. I just don't think anyone can die. And I just, I feel, if you, oh, oh, this movie made my brain hurt. <laughs> it made it hurt. And I'm going to tell you who I blame for this when this is done. When I'm done with this review, I'm going to tell you who I blame for this. Uh, Dominic's brother, John Cena. Horrible acting. Horrible. Horrible acting. 
His, his, even down to his smile wasn't even believable. It was disgusting. Okay? Disgusting. It was horrible. I just wanted to get him off screen. It was awful. There we go. I think I've said enough about John Cena. Uh, the Tokyo Drift characters, again, were in this movie. Um, I don't I don't know I don't know why, except for nostalgic purposes. Because what they're doing makes absolutely no sense. So tell me why we have one street racer and two mechanics and they are building a Fiero which is capable of space flight. Why why are we doing this? Why are we doing why are you doing this? Why? Why? You're a street racer. Why are you building a Fiero to go to space? It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. They weren't here for Dominic. They were just here. They just they just appeared here. They just they're just back. They're just back. So it doesn't matter how they entered the story. They're just here now. So that's the thing. Uh, apparently gravity. Gravity's another thing in this movie that's broken. Okay? So just to just to set the scene, Dominic, I'm sorry, Dominic's brother's in a Mustang, jumps off a cliff and is caught by an airplane with a magnetic car grabber thing because they had planned to do this somehow. And as crazy as that sound, that ain't the craziest part of this scene. Okay? What comes next was absolute mind-numbing ridiculousness to the nth degree. I wanted my money back, but I couldn't get it. So I was just like, well, I just got to sit here and watch this shit. So here I am, and here you are. Yeah, so uh, people start shooting at Dom from helicopters. Um, the first thing that happened was Tyrese and his crew are in a pickup truck. They drive over the bridge. The bridge breaks. That's the end. The end is what it should say. The end. Because they are dead. Okay, this ain't a cartoon. That's not how that's not how gravity works. Just because it's still up over here doesn't mean you can drive over here. You don't need to explain gravity. You know how gravity works. Uh, and then Dominic. Dominic was on this island over here and he needed to get to that island over there. So now the bridge is completely out. Instead of just letting his brother go, who is now in an airplane, by the way, and gone, decides to run over the last remaining thing that's holding one cable one cable and he uses that to grab the wheel of his dodge <sighs> it gets locked in the wheel well he turns the wheel to lock it in place though I don't know how he knew let's move on so Michelle Maria says I know you're not about to do what I think you're about to do. You thought he was going to... This is what you thought he was going to do? I thought he was trying to commit suicide. That's what I thought. That's exactly what went through my brain. He's, he's trying to kill himself. He's going to take me with him. This is the end. This is how I die. Oh, you're not. Oh. Okay. So he uses that to sling himself across open water to another island. For what reason? He, the, the guy you're chasing is dead. So, I mean, he's in a, he's in an airplane. So he's gone. The people who were chasing you and shooting at you were in helicopters, I believe. So you didn't outrun them by doing that. So what reason was there for for swinging? There is no reason. I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, kids. <laughs> Hana's alive. Bullshit. Bullshit he is. 
bullshit. Nope. No. 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 Nope. When I saw Han, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. When I saw Han, he was in that car, upside down, bleeding from his head. Bleeding. Okay? Barely conscious. Barely. And now you're going to tell me that Mr. Nobody, okay, Mr. Nobody somehow, between the time that Shaw had turned his car around, and the time that his car was on fire and upside down that he somehow got out of the car He's, he got out of that and was just over to the side just talking to Mr. Nobody like thanks for pulling me out you're so good at this and Mr. Nobody was like it's it's what I do I'm, it's not even my best it's horse shit is what it is it's not even awesome it's bullshit is what it is. That man is dead. Y'all should have just left him dead. Because that is bullshit. Okay? I'm sorry for cursing. But this movie deserved it. This movie deserves it. It's probably going to be some more. So I may bleep it out. I may not. It just depends on how much work. And it gets worse. So if you hadn't seen it. Again, this is my opinion. So you, you might have loved this movie. And... I'm just glad I don't have to talk to you. <laughs> so, keep doing your thing. Uh, let's see. Dom beats up like 35 people. I want you to let that sink in. Dom beat up like 35 people. He he uh, was trying to protect Letty, who was behind a door that they were trying to get into, and um, he just. He just found the strength to help his girlfriend out. And he beat up all 20 people, just throwing them over the side. Why don't you have guns? Why don't you have guns? Where are your guns? Okay? That's fine. That's fine. Helen Mirren's in this. And I I, I, I want to know why. I want to know why. Why would you... <clears throat> why did you do this, Helen? Helen, why did you do this? Why did you do this to me, Helen? I respected you a lot. But now, huh? Now, not so much. You used to be here, now you're here. All right? Here? Not anymore. Here. That's where Helen is. It's so bad. Nicki Minaj is in this. Nicki Minaj is in this. Okay? Let me just tell you how she shows up in this movie. They arrest Dominic Toretto. And the bad guy, who doesn't even deserve a name, but the bad guy calls in his his group, his, his henchmen, to basically haul Dominic Toretto away and uh, make him his prisoner. Again, because we're not shooting Dom, we keep trying to make him our prisoner. So, we stick him in the back of the truck. And we just think, once again, he's gone. He's gone. See you, Dom. See you. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Only to find out, once we get in the truck, that the people who captured him was Nicki Minaj and her group. Where did Nicki Minaj come from? I don't know. How she knew to be there at all? I have no idea. Uh, did they meet in another movie and I just didn't see it? Possibly. Or maybe not at all. Who cares? There are no rules to this. <laughs> okay, so. The next thing. Cypher. Cypher. I, I think that's her name. Played by Sharice Theron. I, I don't know. It could be. I, again, I could be butchering her name. Or it may not be her name. I just might remember for another, another movie. But Cypher was in a simulator the entire time she was in that jet. Wasn't actually in the jet. That's a good fake out. You got me. <laughs> you got me. That was a great fake out. So, we're almost to the end of this. I'm just going to talk about the two things that bothered me most. And one of these is going to be a scene I'm going to run through, and you ain't going to believe it. So, first of all, Dominic Toretto is on top of a truck. Okay, that truck, truck is upside down. 
truck is upside down he is on the bottom basically the bottom of the truck and the bottom of the truck is sliding down uh, a street or whatever never mind the fact that it would probably be tough just to stand in a situation like that not for Dominic Toretto oh no <laughs> not for him um it starts to go downhill and he had a grenade next to him now this is a semi it's probably heavier than a semi takes a grenade throws it to the left side of this truck then he jumps down a hole and then that grenade flips that truck over down a hill one grenade semi flips that truck over down a hill Dominic is inside tumbling over back and forth somehow made his way to the cabin of this semi in doing so he starts driving it once it reaches the street because when it lands it lands right side up now oh the simulated the, the aircraft that Charlize Theron was flying fires two rockets at it hits right in front of it that should have been the end of the truck two rockets hits the front of the truck the truck catches fire but it's all good it's all good got that plot armor hits the front of the truck it's fine she fires another two rockets hits that bad boy dead center right still ain't done though tires are still inflated let's get this bad boy rolling so this on fire truck is headed towards a cliff and for whatever reason whatever reason she takes this airplane and flies it to the exact same level as that truck Dominic runs the truck off the cliff and the truck runs into this airplane and blows up the, the aircraft and that's when you find out that she's not actually in the airplane. She's in a simulator flying the airplane remotely from another site. Guys, I'm going to tell you one second. Um, this movie is absolutely horrible. This is just my opinion. By the way, go ahead, like, sh uh, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't, we can do more, some more content. Uh, th this movie was ass. And you know who I blame? You know who I blame for this? I blame you. You. Because if it wasn't for you, they wouldn't make this shit. Okay? I left out the part about them going to space. We all know by now that they went to space. We all know that that's horse shit. So, I, I, I can't... You, you. <sighs> Let's keep in mind, let's remember one thing. That these were mechanics. Okay, Luda, we met him in Miami. He was a mechanic running a race at his shop. Okay? He's in space now space I want you to let that sink in they are doing things outside of their wheelhouse these are street racers now they're beating up 20 people at espionage like fighting like they've been trained their whole lives to do so I this movie's a dumpster fire I couldn't stand it uh, I if I could get my money back today I would because I didn't watch a movie I watched the clown show so, I appreciate y'all watching, man. I really do. And uh, I hope y'all tune in again. Because talking to you guys is a blast. But not watching this, though. So, thanks for being here. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Later.